smell like a fucking things because they manipulate the sense of smell and all of that and you said so ain't enough but um anyways with that being said let me go ahead and do the reading I want to get like the LAPD cop Dion Johnson or whatever his uh let's see Gook <clears throat> Saying that. Gook. <clears throat> Heard them say nigga again. Didn't my uncle shoot y'all in Nam? In my past life. Let me stop. Alright, so anyways, with that being said, and I'm wearing a Buddhist bead. And I'm wearing a Buddhist bracelet. Ironically. She got nothing to do with them. It started with us. So the ass is over there. So anyways, let me go ahead and do the reading. So I'm not the most politically correct person. I fight fire with fire. Call me the N-word or say something like that. They were looking behind them when they say that. And I wasn't going to pretend like I didn't hear that. Um, that was my way of letting them know. So anyways, with that being said, let me go ahead and use my third eye to see exactly what's going to happen for us today. I see you going into a glory zone, a place of effortless, it's going to be where you're going to win, and it's going to be effortless, effortless triumph, it's how it's motherfucker out here by the way, and I see it filled with a lot of support, with a lot of people supporting you, with a lot of people looking out for you, and a lot of people having your back. I see you in some of your spiritual protection coming down a sort of landslide where the threat of you getting fucked up is real and you're going to come across motherfuckers that don't want you to bridge the gap. And don't want to get want you to get to a point of success because it would mean they're ruined. I see you coming out stronger. With that being said, I see you facing a lot of obstacles. Um, one of which includes selling yourself out and one of which includes um, trying to compromise yourself to stay above water. Don't do that. You know, impossibility is not impossible. I see a lot of discrepancies, a lot of blocks, breaks, things put in place to throw you off your path. Quite possibly, I don't want to say addiction, but temp, uh, temptation. I see you almost about to cut your own head, so be careful of that. I see you come into a place of celebration where you're in a place where you're happy. And you can avoid it by not cutting yourself, 
cutting yourself um, self up short. I see a massive celebration and I see a lot of people riding your back in support. I see there being something that throws things off in this grand scheme of things, and you're going to come out triumphant in the situation, in the case. So anyways, let me go ahead and throw these cards. Let me go ahead and turn it off before this shit starts fucking up. Yeah, look at what came out. We got the six of wands here winning. Let's go ahead through these cards. So here's the card. So in the obstacle position, we got the moon. And I feel like it's not more magic being done on you more than it's um, something being done on you in the dark, like a plot. I'm feeling at work or something that's being done, a scheme to keep you down and to keep you from getting like a promotion or something like that. That's what I'm picking up on. So right here... In the present position, we got the four pentacles, and I feel like you're living, I don't want to say an illusion, but you're living under the veneer, the facade of stability, but there's still a lot of work to be done, and you may not see it at this you know, particular point in juncture in time. It's funny, we got the knight of wands and we got the cane of wands. So in the future position, we got the cane of wands, and I see somebody very, very powerful, powerful boss, ancestor, uh, friend, family, re a relative member, whatever, come in to your aid and come in to defend you and help you out. And it's going to be royal. So right here we got the Knight of Wands. And with the Knight of Wands being in that position, that represents um, spiritual protection. And roach attachments are evil. They're trying to set it up so I don't get my shit back so they can feed. So, uh, you sip it now, it's a hertz frequency to get rid of that shit. But, um, or 1150. <clears throat> Sorry. Uh, so, anyways, we got the Knight of Wands, and I feel like somebody or something is coming in. It's in the subconscious position. It's an aspect of yourself that's coming in that's gonna break things, break the ice for you. You know, break things up so that you can get the shit that you want so that you can have your roadways, your opportunities made available to you and cleared for you. So anyways, in the goals position, we got the four swords, and I feel like you're reaching the point where you're reaching your zenith, and you're about to accomplish what you've long been looking for, but was going to take a while because it's not easy. 
So right here for the advice card, we got the Eight of Pentacles. And I feel that with the Eight of Pentacles being in that position, that represents um, taking time out to learn about the situation, assess the risk before just jumping ahead and being the Knight of Wands and just whooshing through everything. So right here we got the hangman. And the hangman being in that position represents the energy that percolates or permeates all around you. And it's an energy of waiting, waiting to see what you do, waiting to see what decision you make, what route you take. So right here we got the strength, and that's for your fears and your hopes card. And you're not out of strength. I can tell you that for a fact right off the bat. You have a lot of it. You have a lot of energy. You have a lot of power backing you. So right here, for the outcome, we got temperance. I'm, I'm seeing and I'm getting a sense of, like, a, a commando undergoing a major operation and being very, very cautious and careful as to which direction they take. So um, it's a very delicate operation, but it's an operation where you will come through. It's just, it's inevitable. It's written in the cards. So with that being said, if you want a more personalized reading, please contact me at ravenbyterra22 at yahoo.com. Peace.